okay, uh, somebody asked recently how to make uh, rounded tabs um, for a website. Uh, this is just a quick introduction. Okay, I've created here a rectangle that, that you can see is 180 pixels by 50 pixels. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly this time, uh, but I'll just try and keep it into rounded pixels. You then go into the uh, rectangular tool and you click on the rounded corners buttons and you can then drag these rounded corners to adjust the rounded corner. I'll, you want a fairly, fairly decent round corner on this one, so we'll, we'll settle for that. Um, and as you notice, there's no line colour. I'm quite happy with no line colour at the moment. Um, now what I'll do is make, create another rectangle and place it just above, making sure that it goes over the rounded corners of the other one. Um, then I have to shift select. Arrange, combine shapes, subtract shapes. And there I have a, a tab with rounded corners. It's longer than that's a shape. Uh, it might not have the depth that you want, so you can drag select in the um, shape editor tool to select those two, and then you can just nudge them with the arrow keys or drag them down till, till you get the, the depth that you want. Um, so there's the basic tab. Um, I'm going to change that colour to a darker colour, fill colour to a darker colour, and then I'm going to go Control k to make a clone of it. And I'm um, going to go to the uh, contour tool, and in the contour tool, I'm going to um, bring that in. You can just see it on here, one pixel. To excuse me while I widen the screen a bit so I can see what I'm working with. Um, then I hit the insert pass. Sorry. I, I'm going to hit the inner contour tool, which you can't see again, I'm afraid here, uh, and then hit the insert pass, which just leaves one shape. And I'm going to fill that one with a pale blue. Uh, that just gives a, a slight outline um, to that. Um, gives a slight, rather than use a line, I don't like using lines if I can help it. Um, I tend to use just shapes, filled shapes. Um, the only trouble with that, with a one, is it's also brought that in one so I'm just going to nudge that down one down there just to fill that in okay so now you've got the basic shape um, I'm going to once more I'm going to do a control K to clone that uh, I'm going to fill this with white again with the contour tool uh, I'm going to hit the contour tool I wonder if I slide this across can you see it right I'm going to type in two pixel contour but I want it an inner one not an outer one so I hit the inner contour then I hit the insert pass and again you can't see that so I'll move that across a bit more insert pass hit the insert pass button and now you've got an, a third shape I'm going to slide this back now so you've got a third shape um, that this time I'll fill with no, I want to fill with white um, fill it with white. Now I, what I need to do is to give this a transparency and I'm going to give it a linear transparency and I, I can do that by just hold it, holding down and sliding down like that. Um, you can hold down the control key, I haven't particularly here because I'm holding the microphone at the same time but if you hold down the control key you can make sure that's straight. Uh, you can also, again sliding it across here, adjust the starting transparency if it's too white, if you don't like it too white and you can do the same there. So now you've got a shape like that for your button. On the other button I notice there's also an edging, it's like shading on the edging, so you can do that by just hitting Control K uh, and again um, with the transparency tool, uh, if transparency tool you can actually slide it across this way this time. Control clone, control K. Again with the um, transparency tool. You have to excuse me, I don't usually have my uh, tools. I usually have my tools down the side, so I find it difficult to find them when they're up here. It's very strange. And just slide it across that way. 
And there you have a, a button, this a tab button that you can um, use any time you want. It's also quite handy because you can actually select select all, and you can select all those nodes on that side. Sorry. Edit, select all, select all the nodes on that side, and drag it across. Uh, that one seems to uh, be making a bit of a mess of this top um, transparency. It didn't drag the transparency across with it. So I can just adjust that like that. It's a bit of a messy way, but I um, hope you like that. Thanks a lot.